that happen within the industry. You will see businesses starting, you will see businesses reinvest, I mean, reinvesting in their businesses. You'll also see businesses closing down. So I think if we look at it holistically as a country, these are different things that happen at, at different times. But we must then look at why did businesses shut down, why did people relocate from our country? Because I believe that as a country or as a government, we should be looking to solutions so that we ensure that we attract as much investment, both from the foreign investors and the domestic investors. So in terms of company closures, some of the challenges companies that have closed have cited are really some of the things we do advocate for as, as an association of manufacturers. Key, the cost of doing business. A number of companies will find it hard to do business because of it's not it's not possible for them to compete with international players. So looking at their cost of production, of course the issue of cost of energy was one of the factors that, that, that affected that. The government has done what it can to try and increase the capacity on the grid um, and to try and reduce the cost of energy. But for us to be globally competitive, which is the environment we play in as manufacturers, we really still need to look at having those costs as low as possible. So the issue of regulations and uh, the cost of compliance is another issue that does affect businesses. In some sectors, we see overlaps with different regulators overseeing the same issues. If you look at now the county governments coming up, we also have challenges sometimes in moving goods and you'll be expected to, for example, pay advertising fees to all the 47 counties, distribution fees. And for businesses, when you add all these things together, it makes you marginally uncompetitive in the market. Another point in, uh, I can mention is issues like the IDF and the RPL charge. Uh, we do support the uh, railway and the fact that it's important to have an efficient uh, means of transport. But our, even our partner states in ESC do not charge IDF or RPL on raw materials, industrial inputs, machinery, because they know those are factors of production. If you make them costly, it becomes uh, hard to do business. So the government also be looking at the issue of IDF, RPL, and uh, thinking of at least doing away with it for the manufacturing sector because it actually adds, if you also put VAT refunds to about a 7% margin in terms of cost, and in a cost-sensitive environment like ours, those things do have an impact on, on, on the cost of products. Are you looking for tenders, engineering jobs, suppliers? Then join the Kenya Engineering Community. Get a copy by dialing 0719-207712 or join the Kenya Engineer Online Community, www.kenyaengineer.co.ke.